DHCP. In our video Setting Up Interfaces, we show how to connect a laptop to the smooth wall, which is useful for configuration, particularly at initial setup. What is not ideal is to have to manually input an IP on every device on our network to tell it to talk to the smooth wall. DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. The SmoothWall's DHCP can dynamically give out addresses to devices and machines automatically as they connect. Navigate to Services, DHCP, where we will see the services available. First click Global. This area has the general controls for enabling the DHCP service. By default, it is turned off. However, it does come with some default configuration. Leave the service disabled until you have it configured fully. You can also use it as a relay, whereby the DHCP service will forward on the request to another DHCP server. Typically, you would use this if you already have a DHCP server on your network, but it is connected to another interface and you have to forward the request from one interface to another. In this case, we will use DHCP in server mode, so the SmoothWall will be handing out addresses directly itself. The logging option allows the SmoothWall logs to capture information on the service, and so it is helpful to leave this enabled at first to aid troubleshooting when setting up the new service. Interfaces shows the interfaces the service is running on. Port 1 is the LAN internal interface in this setup, so we will take this option. The view only shows basic internal interfaces to choose from. Next, to set up the configuration, navigate to Services, DHCP, DHCP Server. Here we will see more detailed options around the addressing the service uses. Each interface or IP address subnet you want to use the DHCP for will have its own profile with configuration for the addresses. You can configure up to 20 here. The default interface port 1 is already configured out of the box. You have the option to change the name. In Settings, you can see the address that the server is going to use. The first box shows the network address. The DNS server that the workstations will use, by default, will point at the smooth wall. This will be running a DNS relay, which can translate DNS addresses directly. If you have your own internal DNS, you can change it here and point it to those servers instead. If you've got a secondary server, you can also configure that here as a default. The default gateway is also configured to the SmoothWall by default, which would typically be the gateway out to the internet, as in this case. If you have another gateway, you may enter that IP address here. In Advanced Options, you can configure less common DHCP parameters, including WINS, NTP, and lease times. Full detail of the options available here can be found in the SmoothWall Help site, or by clicking the blue Help button at the top right of the user interface. You can control what block of addresses you are going to allow to be allocated to devices. You can see that 100 IP addresses from 110.100 to 110.200 are already configured by default for devices to use. You may change this value, for example, if you are going to use DHCP for all your devices. You could extend this to cover the majority of your IP range. It's important not to overlap with any of the static addresses you've got in your network, as there is a risk it will create an IP conflict. You can also choose here to add a second block of addresses, if you require. In this case, we will leave the 100 addresses available. If there are any devices, such as servers, which you want to use the DHCP for but don't want its IP address to change, you can specify it here in Static Addresses. Enter the hardware MAC address of the device's interface here. Specify the IP address you want to be allocated to it.
and the comment field allows you to add a meaningful note. We will name it Server. Click Add Static. The service now knows to allocate this address each time to our server. Once the DHCP server is working, the ARP table will populate with addresses. You can use this as another way to specify a static address here. If you want to set up DHCP Relay mode, navigate to Services, DHCP, DHCP Relay. Here you can set up the addresses of the DHCP servers you want to use. Services, DHCP, Custom Options is a flexible area you can configure any DHCP options and option codes not covered in other configurable sections, such as SIP or other applications which need their own DHCP options. To complete setting up the DHCP service, navigate back to Services, DHCP, Global. Tick the Enable tick box and click Save. You will see a warning at the top of the page. Click Restart to start the service. Returning to the dashboard, we can see that the service is green and so it is running. Here in the demonstration laptop, we will switch the Windows settings over to Use DHCP. Returning to the SmoothWall interface and browsing to Services, DHCP, DHCP Leases, the laptop now shows with a dynamic address under dot .100. As users start connecting, all of the dynamic addresses will start to appear here with their host names and MAC addresses.